the number of real estate teams is at an all-time high, but building a successful team means hiring the right people. I'm Lee Brown, broker owner of Remax Executive Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's take our five minutes to talk about developing job descriptions that will help you build your team. Now, the first thing you have to consider as you build job descriptions is, what do you do all day? A lot of realtors think they're super busy and they think they're getting so much done and they get to the end of the day and say, I don't even know what I did. So what I want you to do is create a work diary. Similar to the tedious job of making a food diary, which also hurts your feelings, this is going to hurt your feelings. I want you to take two weeks of your life, write down everything you do. From the moment you wake up, where you're checking Facebook, maybe looking at emails, drinking your coffee, brushing your teeth, until you go to bed at night. I want you to include everything, picking up the kids, dropping off a sign, dropping off a lockbox, calling back a buyer prospect, taking care of a seller's need for brochures. Over that two week period, you're going to start to see a pattern emerge. The pattern you're looking for is how to differentiate between two different kinds of tasks that you perform in real estate. The first kind of task is the RP task. That means revenue producing. So of those two weeks, what tasks were actually producing revenue? Y'all, it's a pretty short list. It is going to be showing houses to a buyer client, it's going to be securing a listing, and it's going to be negotiating deals. The rest of those items on that list are NRP tasks or non-revenue producing. And these are the tasks that lead to the RPs. It's gonna include things like social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. You're going to see how those patterns emerge for when you're on those networks. You'll see that you've spent a large portion of your time sending houses to buyer prospects. Perhaps you spent time at home inspections. You need to make sure that you are differentiating in these two different kinds of tasks. That way, you can start to figure out who on your team can take tasks off your plate because that's why you build a team, so that you can scale your expertise and knowledge and provide a better experience to the consumer that selects you for their real estate needs. When you have this list of NRP tasks, decide what you can give away to somebody else. Now, as you build a team, it's hard to let go of the control. I know that. Start with tasks like lock boxes, signs, brochures, the easy tasks. Then you will find out it's actually fairly easy to have somebody else alert you when you've received an email that's important or when you're mentioned on Twitter so that you can nurture the relationships that got you here in the first place. When you build the job descriptions, put them in writing, assign one to each person, and most importantly, you want to have that new team member sign it and go over the items so that you are on the same page as far as what your expectations are as the team leader. You'll also want to ask their input, perhaps their tasks that they would love to take over for you to allow you the opportunity to breathe, grow and think as you continue to provide a much better real estate experience for every consumer whose life and whose largest financial instrument you're touching. So consider that as you build your business and all the success to you in the world.